Good day, everyone. Our uh, distinguished SPA and HOS in the state are wonderful and amiable teachers in the state. All right, this is a short video on how to add students to class. As you can see on our screen, that is how to add students to classes for KG1, Nose 3, and Primary 1. And primary 1. So, please, and before I go forward, please be informed that. Uh, for no KG for new intakes into KG classes, nursery classes, and primary one for new intakes. This what I'm about to do is how to add the new intakes into these highlighted classes. Any intake into primary two upward will be done through either school transfer, relocation, or special placement. So please and please, this video is mainly for admission into KG classes, nursery cla classes, sorry, and primary one class. So all right now, so I'm going to do a short demo right now. I'm going to go to a live school and do a short demo right now on how to go about this. All right, I'm logged in as an SP of a school right now. Alright, so, so I'm, I'm the first thing you do as an SPA, most of the people are already familiar with this process, but I'm going to run through it again. So as once you log in as the SPA of the school, you go to profile management. Profile management and you select manage students. Alright. So after selecting this, you move on to the next action at the right top corner. This way. You see our students upload multiple students and generate learners ID. This as student is meant for adding only one student. Upload multiple students is meant for uploading more than one student. While this button is meant for generating IDs for the new intakes. Alright, so but you'll be able to generate ID for the new intakes only after you have added the new search learner, the new learner into the portal. So I'm going to use our students now. I want to add, add only one student. All right, so you input the best certificate number here, include the son name, first name, other name, and all the rest. And after inputting all these, uh, all these um, necessary information, please be informed that all these necessary information are important. You, you must make sure you fill up. Then you come down here, you select, you see next, uh, next, Select student class. That is, what which class do you want students to be placed into at the point of upload? So let me use, choose whether primary or nursery. Then you see, let me choose primary first. Then is the student going to primary one A, primary one C, or primary one B? Which arm of primary one is the student going? As you can see here, other classes will not drop down here because you can only admit students to nursery. KG and primary one. So that is why primary one is only primary one is coming up here. So and after the necessary information has been said clear and input inputted, then you click on create students. Then you click on create students. Alright, so and that is all about adding. This is just for adding only one student. Alright, so now let me do Apply. Let me show us how to upload multiple students also. Once you click on multiple students, this will come up. So you select which class are the students going. Are they going into KG, North Street or Primary 1? So let me select Primary 1. Then after select Primary 1, I'll be able to download a sample in WP, WPS format. So this is going to download very soon into, into uh, a WPS app, as you can see in Microsoft Excel. So and please, if you don't have a WPS or a Microsoft Excel on your device, you won't be able to upload multiple students. It's just uh, the same way you upload, uh, you do your uh, scores upload. It's the same way you do your class of scores upload. So and the only difference is that you are uploading, inputting and uploading student details. Why that is meant for scores upload? So you input the surname, uh, the first name, middle name. The son name, the first name is the child name, the, the, what they call the child, uh, what everybody called this child, that is what we know, or the name we know, apart from son name, 
that the child bears. A middle name is for other names. Other names. And you put the sex. You have to select either male or female. Class description, date of birth, and birth certificate number. After selecting all this, you click on. Uh, is that you click here? If you are using a small device, if you are using a small device, look at my arrow here. Is that you click here? That is save. Once you click it, you save your work. Or if you are using a system, either a laptop or a computer, all you need to do is just to press your Control S. After pressing Control S to save your work, then you go back to this and you see upload student data. Then you select that, you click that, and this will come up. You select the document, you just upload. Without saving the document, you won't be able to do your upload. So you select documents, you just upload. You click open, you select it like this, you click open. After clicking open, the reason why this is not uh, common is because uh, I didn't do anything on it. So you click on open and you upload the data. Alright, so that is that about student upload. Alright, so that is that about adding students uh, into nursery, KG, and primary one. Alright, so uh, once you do that, you go, the system will take you back to this page. This is where all your students in the whole school are. They are all put together under this page, whether primary one, primary two, KG, nursery. So you'll be able to find your students here, apart from class registration. Yeah, there is, the difference between this page and your class registration under classroom management is that, uh, sorry, under school management, the difference between this page and that is, uh, sorry, classroom, sorry, manage. Nena's class registration. The difference between this page and this page, Nena's class registration, is that under class registration, you see your students class by classes. Why under this page, all your students are put together in one page? And this is where you can add new intakes into nursery, KG, and primary one. So at the front of each student is an action button. And uh, once I, as I click it to see what came down, you, see, you can view the profile, you can edit the student details. You can log in as a student, you can upload passport, and you can reset password. For those that have been forgotten, that have difficulty in logging into each student, that is, you give your students and the ID you generated, and uh, the student still can't log in. You can click on this reset password, and the password will be reset automatically to the default password, which is, which is, uh, which is sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright? So that is that about student upload. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, we love you all and say goodbye. Thanks.